for thoroughness sake, I wanted to bring up a issue that several students have been uh, discussing. If you've gone through all four courses of the CSENT CCNA material, you'll notice that chapter 5 in the Connect Me Network is identical to chapter 11 from the Route and Switch, and that includes all labs. So instead of doing the lab videos over again, I am actually just going to repeat the videos for chapter 11 in Route and Switch with this announcement. Because again, I've gone through steps, I've gone through labs, and they are identical. 100% identical. Chapter 5, NAT, in Connecting Networks, and Chapter 11, NAT, in Routing and Switching Essentials. So again, all the videos for those belong here as well. Thank you. Verifying troubleshooting NAT configuration. So, I already have my packet tracer open, so I'm going to go ahead and ping server 1 from those appropriate machines. So, ping from PC1. The first one, if it should time out, if it will work. So then I got both PC1 and PC2 going, and they've both timed out. I'm going to do laptop 1. I'm going to get laptop 2 going as well. So both of those are timing out as well. Alright, so that tells me we need to view some net translation. So let's view the net translation on R2. That's our edge router. Config T. Sorry, I went one too far. We want to do a show IP NAT trans. That's a show command. So there is no NAT that's being translated. So if NAT, if NAT is working, there should be an entry in the table. There's nothing here, so something is going on. So step three is. All right, step two, again, there is no alignment. So, all right, so we're gonna go on to step three. Let's go ahead and do our verb interfaces. So serial zero, zero, zero. Oh, for this, we have to be in our global configuration mode. Int zero, zero, zero. IP NAT, that's on the outside. Int serial 001, that's IP NAT on the inside. Again, you stick at the uh, ports and where they're at, you can tell which ones are inside and outside. If it's on the inside of the network or if it's the public facing, that's the outside. So that's that guy again. So now that we've done that, let's go back and let's try to reping them. All right, so PC2 works. PC, sorry, PC1 and PC2 work. Laptop 1 does not work yet. All right, so we're not quite done. So if that is working, there should be an entry in our table. So again, let's go ahead. Show IP NAT trans. All 
And there we go. So we have the appropriate PC1 and PC2, but we don't have anything for laptops. So that's going to be a problem. So let's go ahead and let's look at the access list. Show access list. Oh, well, we only have a permit 10. We don't have anything for the 11 network, so config T. Let's go ahead and we can do it a few different ways. Packet Tracer wants us to get rid of access list 101. And it wants us to go ahead and recreate it. So access list 101 permits IP 10.4.0 with a wildcard mask of 001255 to any and that will allow us we also could have just allowed another permit ip 10 for 11 network but it wanted us to do one single acl so let's go ahead and redo laptop one all right it works laptop two it works let's re-verify pc1 it works Last, let's re verify PC2. Okay, it works. So, we've done all of it. Let's end with a show IP NAT TRAN. And there we have our 11s and our 10s. So, that is actually the last lab in Cisco's Routing and Switching Essentials. Again, I want to thank you.